Sa po natin natin yung mga Bible sa uh, John 14 verses 1 to 3. At sabi dito, Let not your heart be troubled. We believe in God, believe also in me. In the Father's house are many mansions. If we pray not so, I will have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you as myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Let's pray. Dear God, we are thankful for the blessing of our Lord and Savior. We are thankful Ang title ng ating uh, pag-aaral sa ano ito ay The Second Coming of Christ o ang tinatawag na rapture. Ang salitang rapture sa Greek ay to snatch, state of being transported, transfer from one place to another. Meron tayong three points sa pag-aaral na ito. Ang first point ay the believer's hope o ang pag-asa ng mananapantin. Under that is uh, blessed hope of the believer as sabi sa Titus 2.13 um, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ um, ito ang pinaka hinihintay na tagpo ng mga mananampalataya um, na kung saan ay habang tayo ay nasumundong ito at nagaantay ay may pag-asa dahil ng ating tagapagsiktas na si um, Heso Kristo ay tunay na darating Next ay, pure hope of the believer. As sabi naman sa 1 John um, chapter 3, verses 2 to 3. My beloved, now are ye the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what he shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, he shall be like him, for he shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. Sabi dito na tayo nga ay magsalanan pa ay nilinis ng dugo ni Jesus at naging banal gaya ni Jesus na walang kapitasan at dahil siya ay makikita na rin natin kung ano siya at yun ay ang kabanalan. Next ay righteous hope of the believer. Ang sabi naman sa 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4 verse 8 Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me as the thing, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. At the sabi naman sa Hebrews 6, then, For God is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love, which we have showed toward his name, in, the, uh, in that we have ministered to the saints and do minister. Merong ganting pala mula kay Jesus kung saan, ang mga mananampalatayang nananabig sa pagbabalik ni Jesus ay magagawaran dahil hindi niya nakakalimutan ang mga nagawa natin para sa kanya. Para sa ating second point, the believer's comfort. As sabi sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 17, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Meron tinatawag na sequence of event ng rapture. Ang una ay the ascension of Jesus and angelic host. Uh, nakita natin sa unang partay ng 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 ang pagbaba mo din Jesus kasama ang mga anghel mula sa nangyay. Ang kasunod nito ay ang resurrection of dead saints. First is to the next chapter 4 verse 16 as sabi sa itulong parte ng verse na ito and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Dito ang mga namatay ng mga manang na palataya ay unang mabubuhay kagaya ni Cristo. Next ang um, third sequence ito ay ang translation of the living saints. Sabi sa first is to the next chapter 4 verse 17 ang mga nabubuhay pa ang mga manang na palataya ay kukunin ng Diyos. Sabi sa first Corinthians 1551-15 Behold, I show you a misery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be all changed. In a moment, as twinkle of an eye, and the last round for the crown shall sound, and the dead shall be rise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put in corruption, and this mortal must put in immortality. Sa pagtunod ng trompeta, tayo ay mababago, at hindi lang yun. 
Ik ga aanpassen dat sequence reunion en infinite fellowship. Zal ik zeggen, vers 7, vers 17. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Maar zal ik naar vers 7, vers 5, vers 23. And the very God who peace sanctify you fully. And I pray God your whole uh, whole spirit and soul and body to serve during this under the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi naman sa Philippians 3, 22-21, For our conversation in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like a this glorious body, according to the working, whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Tayo ay sasabihin na sa aming Panginoon at Tagapagitas, habang buhay, at ito ang comfort na maibibigay sa atin ng ating Diyos. At sa ating last point, the believer's challenge. May mga pagsubok na dadaanan. Una, watch and work. Sabi sa Matthew 24 verse uh, 44 and 46, Therefore be also ready for in such an hour as you think not the son of man cometh. Blessed is the servant whom is the Lord. He is the Lord when cometh shall find so doing. So sabi nga sa verse, tayo ay dapat maging tapat at habang hindi pa nakakabalik ng ating Panginoon at tayo ay mapatuloy lang sa gawain para sa Diyos. Second event is imminent. Sabi sa Matthew 24 uh, verse 36 that the day and hour know it no man know that angels of heaven but my Father only. Sabi naman sa 1 Thessalonians 5 2 For yourselves know it perfectly that the day of the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. Ang pagbabalik ng Panginoon ay malapit na at wala nakakaalam kung kailan siya pabalik. And ang third challenge ay signs of the time. Ang sabi sa Matthew 24 verse 3 to 7, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of their coming at the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear the wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For the nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, the pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Asabi naman sa 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. This know also that in the last days perils time shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, capricious boasters, proud blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, trespassers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers, those that are good, traitors, heavy, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. Ang mga sinyalis na ito ay ang pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon at nandun na at patuloy pang lumala. So para sa ating conclusion, sa malapit na pagbalik ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo, tayo ay maging handa. Pilipin na